Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation x squared minus 5 is equal to square root of x plus 5. Since this expression x plus 5 is under radical sign, so for real solutions this must be greater than or equal to 0. And because of this side, this side x squared minus 5 must be greater than or equal to 0. This x squared minus 5, x squared minus 5 must be greater than or equal to 0. And if we move this negative 5 to the right side, then x squared must be greater than or equal to 5. So, this is the condition we use to check the solutions of this equation. Now, let us start by squaring both sides x squared minus 5 whole squared is equal to square root of x plus 5 squared. Now, according to algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This uh, x squared minus 5 whole squared is equal to x to the power 4 minus 10 x squared plus 25 is equal to this square will be cancelled with this square root and at the right side left x plus 5. Now we move with this x and this plus 5 to the left side x to the power 4 minus 10 x squared this plus x becomes minus x at the left side plus this 25 25 and this plus 5 becomes minus 5 at the left side is equal to 0. Next x to the power 4 minus 10 x squared minus x and 25 minus 5 plus 20 is equal to 0. Now, because in this expression we have no term with the third power of x, so we add, we add and subtract x cubed in this expression. Like this x to the power 4, we add x cubed and we subtract x cubed and because 4 and 5 are factors of this 20, 4 and 5 are factors of 20. So, we split this negative 10 x squared as we split this negative 10 x squared as negative 1 x squared minus 4 x squared minus 5x squared. We split this negative 10x squared as negative 1x squared minus 4x squared and minus 5x squared. Now, because uh, here we have 4 and 5. So, we split this uh, negative x as we split this negative x as plus 4x minus 5x. We split this negative x as plus 4x minus 5x and in the last we write this plus 20 plus 20 is equal to 0. Now, we make uh, three groups of this expression with the three terms in each group. We write these two terms in the first group and the third term we write this negative 4x squared x to the power 4 plus x cubed minus 4 x squared and in the second group we write these two terms negative x cubed minus x squared and as a third term this plus 4 x negative x cubed minus x squared plus 4 x 
and in the third group we write this negative 5x squared negative 5x and plus 20 negative 5x squared negative 5x plus 20 is equal to 0 now from these three terms x to the power 4 plus x cubed minus 4x squared we can factor out x squared x squared times in bracket left x squared plus x minus 4 and from these three terms negative x cubed minus x squared plus 4x we can factor out negative x negative x times in bracket left x squared plus x minus 4 from these three terms negative 5x squared minus 5x plus 20 we can factor out negative 5 negative 5 times in bracket left x squared plus x minus 4 is equal to 0 now as you can see this expression x squared plus x minus 4 x squared plus x minus 4 x squared plus x minus 4 is a common factor so we factor out this x squared plus x minus 4 and in bracket left this x squared this minus x and this minus 5 in bracket left x squared minus x minus 5 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression x squared plus x minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared minus x minus 5 is equal to 0 now first we solve this quadratic equation this is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula in this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to negative 4 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to minus value of b 1 plus or minus square root of value of b 1 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 4 divided by 2 times value of a 1 and x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared is 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 4 plus 16 1 plus 16 17 divided by 2 times 1 2 so from here we get two values of x x1 is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 17 over 2 and x2 is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 17 over 2 now to find other two solutions we solve this quadratic equation this is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula in this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 1 and c is equal to negative 5 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative value of b negative 1 plus or minus square root of value of b negative 1 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 5 divided by 2 times value of a 1 and x is equal to minus minus positive 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 5 plus 20 1 plus 20 21 divided by 2 times 1 2 so from here if we get other two values of x x3 is equal to 1 plus square root of 21 
over 2 and x4 is equal to 1 minus square root of 21 over 2. So, for now we have got 4 values of x. Now, let us verify and find the solutions of this equation. We verify these values of x by the condition x squared must be greater than or equal to 5. To verify these values of x, we use this condition x squared is greater than or equal to 5. First, we check the value of x1. Negative 1 plus square root of 17 over 2. And we take a square of this value. Square root of 17, square root of 17 is approximately 4. So, in place of this square root of 17, we put this 4. Negative 1 plus 4 over 2 squared. And negative 1 plus 4 is 3 over 2 squared. 3 over 2 squared is 9 over 4 and 9 over 4 approximately equal to 2 and 2 is less than 5, 2 is not greater than 5. So, this condition is false, we reject this solution. Now, we check this second value of x negative 1 minus square root of 17 over 2 negative 1 minus square root of 17 over 2 and we take square of this value negative 1 minus square root of 17 is approximately 4 so here we put 4 over 2 squared negative 1 minus 4 minus 5 over 2 squared and negative 5 squared is 25 divided by 2 squared is 4. Now, 25 over 4 is approximately 6 and 6 is greater than 5. So, this condition is true. This solution negative 1 minus square root of 17 over 2 is a valid solution. Now, in the same way, if we check this third value of x, 1 plus square root of 21 over 2, the square of this 1 plus square root of 21 over 2 is greater than 5. So, this is a valid solution. And square of this fourth value, 1 minus square root of 21 over 2 is less than 5. So, we reject this solution. So, finally, we have got these two solutions.